So we're closing down to the final elementary 6 release, with 305 tasks done, 4 in progress, and 8 to do. I guess it shouldn't be long now, a couple of weeks maybe, and in fact we even have objectives for 6.1 already. But is it still a big deal after 458 years of delays? Depending on what side you are, you could say that elementary desktop it is a little bit worse than GNOME, or GNOME is a little bit better, but there aren't big differences really. It's not that GNOME did exactly great the last couple of years either, apart Mutter of course, which is a shared library in elementary anyway, so the capabilities and responsiveness of the window manager should be very much alike. And perhaps the elementary desktop is alright, but the actual OS? Nobody that is hashtag insane for their home desktop and want the best would ever trust that OS. And you will never see elementary OS to be used in large organizations environments that reliability matter. So next I will prepare a video to show you how you can get all elementary desktop cuteness, in an actual serious operating system. And of course everyone who's familiar with OS tree systems, they are also familiar with how important role Flatpak plays for their success. Which leads us to this movie main event. So basically elementary team announced the official Flatpak SDK for 6.0 release, and you can see all the specifications on the GitHub page. And even if you don't like what the whole elementary thing is about, you will still appreciate the documentation and motivation they put to their community, which is pretty much a GTK enthusiast community. So far there is only a small bunch of apps available, but it is getting bigger and bigger, and eventually everything will hopefully be accessible in Flatpak SDK 6, and we are actually able to use those on any system. So if you want to have a full elementary experience for example on Arch, and that includes all the apps, it will be now possible. Hum, let's test some UI for a moment maybe? So this is a GNOME software build that only manages Flatpak stuff, and nothing else. And next I'm gonna search for Dippy, which is an elementary app for calculating screens DPI. And if we check on release history, we'll see that Dippy has under the hood updates for elementary 6 SDK, although those are mostly some links updates rather actual code. But what I really want to show you here, is that after installing Dippy, and launching it, we'll see it uses elementary theme and not GNOME, so all graphics are perfect without weird theme issues. And it should also be the opposite. GNOME Flatpak apps on elementary should use Adway to theme, and not elementary, so graphics will work properly there too, which is a good trade-off for consistency. Hum, and of course this app was installed from elementary Flatpak remote, although I'm not sure why it used purple accent color. And for comparison reasons, let's repeat the same process on elementary app center. And the most significant difference is that here we have the option to don't pay the app developer. Poof, just get a real job, at Amazon most preferably. Meanwhile the app cover uses a purple accent, but my system accent color is set to brown. But when I launch the app, it will still be purple? Hum, I guess some issue with flat packs, but very lazy to check. But if you want to see one more issue, after we press back, there isn't any way to go to home page? Unless we cancel the search? And the reason why such obvious visual issues go unattended, is because users don't open bugs. And users don't open bugs because they don't love the software they use. Which reminds me, I have opened more issues than most of you, even if I say elementary sucks.